Hey guys, I'm Tommy, a developer advocate at Linode. Welcome to this video on big data. So in this video, we'll be discussing what big data is and how it is revolutionizing the way businesses and organizations works. We'll also be exploring a use case later on how we can use a Linode to set up a basic big data application. So let's get started. Now to put it to simply terms, big data refers to vast amount of data that is generated by individuals, businesses and organizations on a basic amount of time. So this data can come from various sources such as social media, IoT devices, sensors and more. So with increasing digitalization of our world, the amount of data generated has exponentially grown and it's estimated that by 2025, the global data sphere will reach 163 zettabytes which is a lot of data. But big data is not just about the volume of the data. It also refers to the complexity and diversity of that data. So big data can include structured and unstructured data, as well as data in various formats, such as texts, images, and videos. So with the increasing ability of big data, it is becoming important for you know, businesses, organizations, and even individual brands to leverage this data to gain valuable insights that can help them make better decisions and improve how their operations work. So big data is used in a variety of ways from improving customer experiences to optimizing business operations. For example, retailers use big data to analyze customer buying patterns and make targeted marketing campaigns. Manufacturers use big data to optimize their supply chains and improve product quality. Healthcare providers also use big data to improve patient outcomes and reduce costs. So one key benefit of big data is that it allows for predictive analytics. So by analyzing past data, businesses can make predictions about future trends and behavior which can help them make more informed decisions and take proactive measures. Now that is the basics of big data. And I'm going to show you a demo on a Linode server. And what I'm going to do is to show you how to collect big data. The process in implementing this big data is actually getting information. So I'm going to show you or break this process down using a Linode server. And what we're going to do is to create a Linode server and we're going to automatically run a script that keeps collecting data from various sources. Now let's get straight into that. Now what we're going to do is to build a basic web scraping script that continuously scrapes data from a search engine. So we're going to build this script on a Linode. So this script is going to keep running continuously, let's say every three hours on a Linode server. And it's going to keep scraping that data and possibly storing that data. Now this is just an intro to how you can, you know, get data in big data. So how you can fetch some data from a particular source. In this example, the source is ask.com, which is a basic search engine. And I just searched Tommy and I'm going to keep scraping all the results that comes for the search term Tommy. And I'm going to keep scraping this every three hours. Now I'm going to walk you through all the process. The first thing you want to do is to go to cloud.lino.com and sign up for an account. There'll be a link in the description below where you can get $100 for free for 60 days. So you can test this out with me. And now once you logged in, what you need to do is to click on create Linode. And once you create Lino, just follow me through all this process. And I'm going to choose a distribution. I want to use Debian 11, so I'm going to leave it at that. Now you're going to choose a region. I'm going to choose the closest region to me, which is London, UK. And it's going to ask you to choose a dedicated CPU. I'm going to choose that, which is just going to choose the 4 GB, 4 GB and um, 4 GB RAM and 2 core CPU. And it asks for the label. I'm going to leave the label as it is. I'm going to leave this as it is. And it asks for the password. So I'm just going to input a password. Now I've inputted the password and I'm going to leave all of this as it is. And what I'm just going to do is to say create Linode. Now it's going to create that Linode for me. And I'm just going to wait for it to create that Linode. So as you can see, it says provisioning and I'm going to wait for this to provision. Once it has been provisioned, I'm going to be able to use this. Now, as you can see, this Linode is successfully running. So Linode has created a Linux server for us. And what we just want to do now is to SSH into that Linux server. And all you need to do is to copy this command right here. So I'm going to copy that command and you need to go into your command prompt if you're on a Windows and 
or your terminal if you are on a Mac. So I'm on a MacBook, so I've opened up my terminal and I'm just going to paste that command and hit enter. Now it's going to ask for, it says, are you sure you want to continue connecting? I'm just going to say yes. Now it asks for the password. Now remember when we were creating this Linode, we created like a root password. Now you need to input that password right here. So I'm going to input mine. And it's not going to show me that I'm typing anything just for security reasons. But now as you can see, everything has been, is working successfully. So it has brought me into this server. So now that I am in this server, I can do what I want to do. Now the first thing I want to do, as we said, we want to create a web scraping script that continuously scrapes data. So for us to do this now, we first need to make sure that we have Python installed and we have pip installed and then the library that we're going to use, which is beautiful sub4, we need to make sure that we have that installed. So what I'm going to do to do that is to say sudo apt. So this is how I'm first going to update. I'm going to say update. You're just going to update all my packages to make sure everything is, you know, working and everything is good. So that is going to take a minute to update and that has been done. Now what you need to do is to you now install Python and pip. So for me to install Python on this server, I'm just going to paste in this command. So this command sudo apt install python3 and python3 pip. I'm going to hit enter. It says, it says it's going to take 288 MB of the disk and we have 4 gig. So that is all right. I'm going to hit enter. And yes, that is going to you know, is download everything needed. First of all, on our server, it's going to download all the files that it needs before it starts installing everything. So as you can see, it shows the progress on the bottom and right now is in 99% and let's wait for it to successfully install. So that is just going to take a moment to install real quick. Good. So that has been installed. Now we know that we have Python and we have pip installed. Now that we know we have those two installed, there are three different libraries we need for this web scraping script that we're going to build. The first one is requests, but request is automatically installed with Python. So now that we've installed Python, request has been installed for us. So we don't need to re reinstall that again. The second thing is beautiful sub4. We're going to install that now. And the third thing is LXML. So let's install that. So we need to say pip3 install beautiful soup. And then we also want to say LXML. So we want to install these two packages. And we're going to wait for them to install. Boom. They have been installed successfully. Now that we know that this has been installed, the next thing we want to do is to just create a basic Python script that does what we want for us. And we're just going to say, to create this, we're going to say nano scrape.py. So this has basically created a new Python file named script.py. And that's what nano does for us. And now I already pre-coded this. So I'm just going to paste in the code that we need for this in here. So that is the code pasted. You could just pause the video if you want to copy everything word by word. I'm just going to quickly go through what this does. So what this does is that it installs it requests beautiful soup and it's just a basic web scripting script. So as I said, I'm going to get the results from this page right here, which is a result of the search term told me. So I'm going to get all the results and just, you know, have it in there. So what it does is it queries that page told me. So it says um, ask.com and the query is search and the value of search is told me. So it queries that page and all of this just makes it into a form where we can actually um, actually get data from that page. And this is just saying that we want to get the data from a div tag that has a class of this. And then we get all specific data like the title, the URL and description. So this is the title, this is the URL, this is the description. So that is what that does. And it just does it in an empty list named final results. And this is just going to print final result for us. So this is basically what this does. So once we save this, now we're just going to exit out of it. So we just exit out of this and it says save modified buffer. We say yes. And file name to write that. Yeah. Script.py. And we just hit enter. Now that has been saved. We have created a Python file named script.py and it's just a file that keeps that scrapes data from a search engine. That's what it does. But now that we have done that, the next thing we want to do is to run this script. So to run this script, we are going to say Python 3 scrape.py. So as you can see, boom, what it does is it gives me 
all of the results of that page so as you can see it says told me um photos videos and if you come in here you can see that the first actual result says told me photos and videos so this is all the details of all the results on this page which is good this is what we need but now this is just you know very minute data this is small data compared to what we're talking about as big data so this is just an example of how we can fetch data you know on a linode so um what we just want to do now is to automate this process so instead of just having this i want this script to keep running every three hours so when there is new information about tommy is going to have that and just you know keep running that probably saving that so what we're going to do now is say cron tab so i'm just going to make this a little bigger so you can see it down here so we say cron tab and then say iphone e now what this does this cron tab this will open like a cron table editor as you can see right here and then we're going to enter the following just um so it can run every hour so i want it to run every hour i can make it run every three hours every five hour but i want it to run every hour so the first thing it says it says select an editor and the editor i want to select is one so this is the editor so what we're going to do now is to paste this in and I'm just going to save this. So I'm going to exit out of this. So what this does is just keeps running this script.py using Python 3 every hour. So I'm going to cut out of this and click save. And yes. So now that has been saved. It says cron installing new cron tab. So as you can see, that has successfully been done. And this is just a basic way of creating a script and automating it you know automating the process so it keeps running every hour we can make it run every minute you know every second um every day or whatever we want to do so this is just a basic way of collecting data you know so what we did was setting up a linode and on that linode we wrote a script that keeps collecting data and if we want to store this we could create like you know a nosql database or whatever database and keep storing this data so you know we can use it for whatever we want to use it for and that is just a very basic concept of big data. So this in itself is not big data because the amount of data being stored is very small compared to big data. But this is an example of how we can collect data, you know, on a basic node and we are automating that process right here. I hope you understood everything that we did. So that was a basic demo on how you could build a web scraping script on a Linode server and use that to continuously get or collect information. And this all adds up to big data. Now, thank you for watching this video because that's going to be the end of this video. And don't forget to drop down in the comment whatever video topic you want us to cover next. I will make sure to do that. So thank you for watching this video once again and I'll see you in the next one.